Hey friends, it is Susan from LakeslikeMind.com and I, oh, I wanted this to be like the best video celebrating the fact that I was able to even get some wellies or galoshes that fit and obviously they're on, but oh, the design isn't working for my legs at all. <laughs> so I wanted to show you, I bought some Jillian, um, boots in the biggest size they offer, which is a 13 wide, wide in US sizes. And um, they have, oh, sorry, my leg is dislocating today, some double gusseted construction. So there's gussets here with a little um, buckle that is on the inside and the outside of the legs, right? And as predicted, the buckles, even though um, my calves themselves no longer rub whenever I walk since having surgery, now that the buckles are on the inside, the gussets and the buckles and everything hook with each other when I'm walking. But that is sort of the best of the bad. I will say that the height of the boot is good because once we start going up higher in a lady's leg with lipedema, the, it gets harder to fit us because we have these fat pads on the inside of the knees here. But I wanted to show you, and I brought my handy dandy pointer scratcher <laughs> to show you what is happening in the back. And I'm just gonna stay seated since I'm having like problems today. Down here, you can see where the boot itself, because it's adjustable, the gusseting stops about six inches down and then it's just gaping back here and where now this obviously is rubber construction with a, a cemented liner but right here oh it is pushing so hard on the back of my foot or the back of my ankle that it is just like misery and there's no way i could wear these out so um what we thought the problem with all of our boots was before we started taking a ton of measurements of ladies was the calf measurement but as you can tell, where the gusseting starts, there's plenty of room in the gusset on the inside and the outside of the legs, and I've even got them buckled. Um, what the problem is, is this back area with there being too much fabric or leather or rubber or whatever that's gonna be made of, that is causing problems. And then here on the top of the upper, where the ankle is, and it's this measurement that we've been taking right here, I'll try and mark it like that, was almost so tight that I couldn't get my food and in, foot into the boot. Um, I actually had to take my socks off to be able to get these boots to just come on with a little bit of force. So um, that is, that's our area of problem and not as much the calf as what we've been thinking about. The shoe itself, the, the sole of it, feels a little bit narrow across the joint, but the main problem right here is all of this bunching and the pushing in of this excess material that's on the back of the boot. The construction, we've already decided on the inside, we knew that we needed smooth or no seams, but absolutely no gusseting or buckles or anything like that. So I'm gonna stand up and just show you what happens whenever I turn. And again, I apologize, I'm having a leg problem today. So, um, this is what they look like, but you can see, I'm trying not to damage the shoes because I have to return them. I, I could not wear these. Um, you can see there, and then you can see that the shoe itself is fairly snug on the joint of the shoe. And then in the back, you can see where it's poking in right there. Oh, and it's painful. Like if I wore these for very long at all, they would hurt really, really, probably cause some blistering and that sort of thing right there. And I'll show you again. So my left leg is my larger leg. And it's poking in right there where there's the extra material. And see on, on this one, I can't really properly pull it up all of the way because the gusseting stops about halfway down, but my problem area is in the top in front of the ankle here. And again, the joint is a little bit too tight and see where my toe ends. There's an inch of boot left. So it's just proof that a lot of us are wearing too long and too, you know, the wrong size of shoe to try and accommodate for the depth 
of shoe that we need. Um, but so no features on the inside of the shoe for us. And then we need, if we're gonna do gusseted, it needs to be a deeper gusset. And we need to think about how we're going to make the front of the ankle accommodate a larger measurement from the back of the ankle to the front of the ankle like that. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. And Jillian, thank you for making these boots. I think it'll help a lot of ladies, but not somebody with the ankle measurements and the extent of lipidema that I have. So um, we'll keep on trying. Bye.